Hey guys, it's Gospel Week here on The Bearded Prophet, your home for wit, wisdom, and a really great beard. So we're going to be talking about the gospel. And if you don't know what that word means, it means good news. The gospel is good news, people, which is why we should be sharing it with others. When you have good news, you naturally want to tell them that. Hey, something really good just happened to me. I got promoted at work, or someone just gave me a good gift, or somebody did something nice for me. Well, the gospel, the good news about Jesus Christ is all of that and more. Let me share it with you right now. The story of the gospel starts with a God of love. There is a God who is love. It actually says that in the scriptures. God is love. We're made by love. We're made for love. But we've also all fallen away from that perfect love, which is God. In Him is no darkness at all. God is perfect, but we're not. We're fallen. In the beginning, when God made the world and everyone, everything in it, He made this original couple, Adam and Eve. You may have heard of that. And it says in the scriptures that God actually walked with them in the cool of the day. At that point, the world was as it should be. There was no sickness, no killing, no death, no problems in the world. But a problem did come in pretty quickly. God had given mankind one command. He said, you can eat from any tree in this garden, but you can't eat from this one tree in the middle of the garden. Unfortunately, there was a tempter, this fallen angel named Satan or the devil. We do have a real enemy. There's a real God of love and a real enemy of our souls named the devil, Satan. It's real. He was present in the garden. He tempted mankind. He tempted Eve and Adam, who was right there with her, it says, to go ahead and rebel against God, to disbelieve the God of love who had made them and given them this perfect world. And they went ahead and took that fruit. And everything fell into disorder. Creation fell, the animal kingdom fell, and mankind fell. We began to sin, be selfish, fight against each other, do things we should not do. And everything went out of order from that point on and is still that way today. But here comes the good news. God is rich in mercy. He knew that we were going to fall. He gave us free choice. He gave us the ability to choose. Do you want to love me or not? Because if he just made a perfect world and forced us to love him, it wouldn't really be love. How many of you know that? It's not real love if you don't have a choice. But God, who is love, said, I'm going to give humanity a choice. And yes, you blew it. You made the wrong choice. But like a good father, like a good parent, he didn't just throw his kids away and say, well, you blew it once, you're done. That would not be love. He said, "You've you've fallen away from me but I'm coming after you. I will make a way of restoration, a way that we can walk together again and be together like I've always wanted because I love you. My friends, that rescue plan came to fullness in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus was there at the beginning. He's part of what we call the Godhead, which is three in one. Christians, we only worship one God. There is only one God. We fully agree with that. But in this beautiful mystery, he is manifest in three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That is the true Trinity, as it's called. And we can explain more on that. But just hear me. This is God's rescue plan. He says to broken humanity, you and all your descendants are fallen. You have what's called a sin nature. You naturally are bent to doing the wrong thing. You have some good in you and you have some bad. And you cannot fully master the bad in your own strength. You still sin no matter how hard you try. But Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Anointed One, Jesus the Messiah, came down from God, took on a human body, and lived the perfect life we could not live. And then, because He is rich in mercy, He allowed Himself to be sacrificed, to die the most horrible death available in that day, which is death on the cross, crucifixion, nails through His hands, nails through His feet, naked so He was ashamed, a crown of thorns on His head, whipped 39 times by the Romans with a cat of nine tails, a horrible scourging, blood, His his flesh ripped apart. Because that is the punishment we all deserve for our sin. You deserve it, I deserve it. We all deserve to die. 
and be separated from God. But God said, I love you this much. I will separate, cut off, and bruise, and beat, and kill my own son, my very best, my word in flesh. I'll kill him so you can live. And that, my friends, is the simple gospel. Jesus Christ came down from God, lived a perfect life, and died on the cross to pay for sin. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how we can respond to that how we can make the gospel good news for us. So I invite you to watch that.